Problem 11. Ted mistakenly wrote the following expression as the other. What is the sum of all real numbers m for which the two expressions have the same value? So first of all, write down what it's trying to say. 2m, don't get confused, so put a parenthesis around it, times the square root of 1 over 4096 must give you 2 times the square root taken to the mth root of 1 over 4096. So with this, what can we say about 4096? Because it obviously looks very suspicious to be divisible by 2. So let's do that. Well, 96 is divisible by 4, so the entire number is divisible by 4. So 4096, right? We can rewrite this, right, to be equal to 4 times 1024. Now, 1024 should be a very special number that you should remember, because 1024 is the same thing as 2 to the 10. Now, 2 to the 10th power times 4 is times 2 squared. And the same basis multiplied together, we add the exponents. So that's 2 to the 12. So we have rewritten this in terms of a power of 2, which gets much easier, because now we can say this to be 2 to the m times the square root of that number. Now, one property of logarithms, which is that the root of a to the m taken to the nth root, can be rewritten as a to the m over n power. If we were to have this formula, then we can say that this is equal to 2 times negative 1 over negative 12, because it's a fraction, taken to the half root, which must be equal to 2 to the first, right, times the negative 2 to the negative 12 taken to the 1 over m root from the given um, formula. So same basis and we add the exponents. m minus 6 must equal 2 or 2 to the m minus 6 must give 2 to the 1 minus 12 over m. Now the same base have the same exponents. So these exponents must equal and therefore we solve the question. So n minus 6 is equal to m minus 12 over m after simplification. Cross multiply m squared minus 6m, then move it over, minus m plus 12 must give 0. So m squared minus 7m plus 12 is equal to 0. Now, by Vieta's formula, which basically relates the roots together, it says that for a quadratic equation, the sum of the two roots must equal the negative um, b over a. Negative b being the coefficient of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So the b is this b right here, and the a is this a right here. So in this case, the b is negative 7. So b of negative 7 of negative is 7. Divided by a, which is 1, gives 7. So our final answer is 7, because that's the sum of all the roots, which are m. Therefore, your answer choice is answer choice c.